climate goals that we have, um, uh, this ambitious target to limit global warming uh, to 1.5 degrees Celsius, uh, this incredible uh, determination to cut carbon in emissions uh, up to 70%, um, while at the same time uh, producing 70% more electricity than we do today. When you see how many coal-powered plants are coming online in places like India and other developing nations, this is a sobering, sobering ambition. Uh, but for me, I come to this issue, frankly, uh, because of the realities I see. There's a lot of issues about global warming and the challenges of the future. My city has asthma rates for our children that are epidemic, about three, four times what they are uh, in other communities. That air quality uh, is a real everyday challenge that's undermining, in fact, the number one reason why kids miss school in America, period, for, uh, for an issue is, is asthma. And, and so I know what the urgencies are here in the immediate right now. I know the challenges that global warming faces to my state and, and the rise of sea levels, the acidification of our oceans, uh, even the moving of our traditional fisheries disruption of, our, of, our, of that industry. Um, I also know though we can't get there uh, unless we substantially support and even embolden uh, the nuclear energy sector. It just doesn't work unless we focus on this sector. I'm very proud of the legislation we just got out of committee yesterday, helping next generation nuclear. I'm, 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 it's one of the things I've been able to do in the Senate, bringing sort of left and right together to focus on common sense, streamlining of regulations and preparing uh, what I think is an important component of our, uh, our, our rapid transition uh, to a low carbon future. Um, we have to make sure that uh, this nation is on the cutting edge of energy innovation. And in order to do that, we've got to do that in this space. And so the bill that passed the Senate would authorize the Department of Energy to establish a national nuclear innovation center that would foster a strong public-private partnership uh, for the development and the deployment of advanced nuclear technologies. These are really all important. And a regulatory framework that is 21st century. Like, it, it, it's like the FAA saying, you know, you have to make sure that somebody has goggles for if they're piloting a plane. Well, we actually have cockpits now that goggles are not useful. We need to make sure that the regulations we have for next generation nuclear are appropriate and don't bog folks down. We've got to support the existing fleet. We've got to support the existing nuclear fleet. And so nuclear energy right now provides critical base load power currently comprising, as you all know, more than 60% of our nation's carbon-free electric generation. That makes me understand that we're not valuing carbon the way that we should. And so this is gonna take a lot of years of work, but we must make bold goal, the bold goal of passing a law that establishes an economy-wide price on carbon. I just believe that's something that we have to ha start having constructive conversation about doing that allow nuclear to compete on a level playing field.